Welcome back to our style showcase. And today we're going to talk about the wingtip Oxford. Now, this is uh, two different examples of this. This is an almond last and a, a soft square last, uh, more of an uh, chisel. But it's a, um, the pattern on the shoes is the same. And um, it's got um, the complex brogan, has a medallion, um, has uh, heel counters, and uh, a, a bunch of detail. Now, this can be a very loud shoe um, when, you know, they, they counter color the brogue. Okay. And the medallions can be a very good separation on the shoe. Um, sometimes, you know, this can be an elevated piece. Sometimes it's in the regular interior vamp there. Um, there's a lot of different choices that they have. Um, I've even seen this uh, shoe done uh, by a shoe company in England called Barker, where each piece was a different color. And it's a very interesting way of, of putting together a shoe. Now, um, this one, so in, now when I talk about elevated, so you see how this is a separate piece of leather, right? So this is on the, the main piece, and this is a piece that's like a patch on top. But when we look at this one, this is actually the same piece right here. Now, when you look at it here, you can see the three-dimensionality because these are layered pieces. Now, in really high quality, you'll see um, a lot more skiving. You'll see the edges being a lot smoother. But don't forget, this is traditionally a three-dimensional shoe. So in some cases, you'll actually see it bigger, broader. And it's a very interesting thing. So here we have an example in suede. This is in um, Vukalu calf. And um, this is, they're both very, very great, ma great makers. This is an Aubercy, which is actually a, um, a Blake stitched. See the sole, see some of the details on here, like around the heel, just really, really nicely done. And this is a hand welted from Stefano Bemmer for this one. Just really great examples of what is in many ways, one of the most classic styles out there. Now, um, you know, there's a lot of work that's done on the waists um, in order to, you know, to create a bevel to, to, you know, some of them are even blind stitched. Some have broguing, some have stitching, some don't have stitching, and that can mean a bunch of different things. It's just a very interesting um, style. And it really does, in my mind, define the word classic. Because if you think about the formality of shoes, the formality is plain is better, but a lot of gentlemen really abhor plain, and they wanted something that had a little bit of character to it. And this was a way that they were able to do that. And then many men just, you know, fought the, the system and decided they were going to wear these uh, with suits. And uh, so now, in, in 2022, um, it's well accepted that you can wear brogues with, um, with suits. And this is considered a full brogue, Oxford, because it has the closed facing. So, this is the wingtip Oxford. It's very simple yet probably one of the loudest of the classic shoes. And I just wanna show off these medallions. These are things that you can choose based on different makers um, to have customized. But in this case, these two makers chose these. <laughs> these are just fantastical. So thanks for watching. Let me know your comments in the area below.